East Texas Arrowhead hunting Labor Day weekend. As you can see, it's raining outside, which is awesome. It really helped us out today. Not complaining about the rain at all. Washed out some pretty nice artifacts. This is Lake's finds from this morning. Me and Brandy were still asleep. And our youngest, he's nine, and his friend took off on the four-wheeler and went exploring on their own. And he found this really nice Gary point. We were still asleep in bed, and he's out here our head hunting. He's got a nice little knife tip. A little broke bird point. Four different preforms there. All this time I thought he wasn't listening to me when we're out in the field, and apparently he was. He did really good today. Here's his pottery. And a big old scraper. So I'm really proud of the boy. Good job, Lake. This is the points I found today. I think I found about 20 whole ones and close to 20 broke ones. There's a big old East Texas spear point. Here's a nature's point. I found like five nature's points today. At one point this thing would have had ears that come down all the way to the base. It should have a square tip. This one's got a tip dang on it. This is my favorite find of the day. Awesome Evans. Usually they're not quite this thin or well made like this sucker. Killer tip on it, you can tell it was heat treated. Some other kind of variant related to, I don't know, probably a nature's point or something. It's just kind of got a blunt tip there. That one's nice, it's got a nice little agatized band running through it. This one's crazy, I hadn't found anything like this which way does it go? Does it go this way? Or does it go this way? It's got like a double tip on it. It's not ground anywhere. Sharpen on both ends. Pretty cool. Here's an awesome nature's point. Of course it's lost its ears over time and uh, it's been resharpened. Made out of some nice material. Nice chisel tip on it. A few more little nature's points. Now this one's not a nature's point, that's an actual break there. Nice jawbone. Miscellaneous crude points. I wish this guy would have been whole. Awesome orange material. Some more butts. Big old knife. tip's gone on that knife. That's pretty nice. Here's a typical East Texas knife. It's got a killer tip on it. No work on the base. It's not broke there. They just typical East Texas. They never finish the base off on them. That's my bird points for the day. They're all broke. That would have been a killer there. Some kind of sparkly purple material. Some more scrapers, some tips, and uh, this point here is pretty sweet. Some kind of purple material. I have no idea what kind of material it is, but it is very purple. Got some nice bands in it. Here's a miscellaneous broke tools and uh, some palm wood. This piece is awesome here. I'm doing Brandy's cleanup video today. She got injured out in the field and hurt her knee. So we'll start off with brandy stuff. This is an awesome Del High spear she found today. That is nice. Here's another large point. Didn't you find all three of these next to each other? And that nature's point too. Man, that's nice. There's that nature's point. Made out of some kind of flint. That's cool. Yeah, that's weird. That's got a wild looking inclusion right in there. Look at that cortex on the tip. Here's an awesome little bird point made out of palm wood. Out in the sun you can see it's translucent. Here's a little point here that's uh, been resharpened into a little graver, a little drill. 
Here's a little sand patrice made out of some awesome clear looking purple material with some red and yellow in it. Pretty nice. This thing looks tiger striped. That's pretty awesome. Thin little sucker. That's a really polished stone, probably a game piece or something. It's so slick you can hardly hang on to it. Here's Brandy's tools. Here's a tip off of a nature's potato. You can see the chisel on there. Pretty good nature site we were on. Here's some of the flint she found. I forgot my flint and left it all behind. Well, Brandy, looks like you done really good. I found this giant spade, too. It's made out of petrified wood. You can see where it's worked all the way around. Probably use it as some kind of a farming implement to dig with or chop wood with. Pretty cool. Here's some of the translucent stuff. Got it on a flashlight trying to replicate the sun, but it's not working out real good. You can see the palm wood grain on that little bird point there. You can definitely see it on the big chunk. One last look at our combined hunt.